PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. Great to see you here again today. Hey, today I want to have a bit of talk about, you know, if you're buying a new plasma cutter or whatever, and a lot of people don't think about this, but what it costs to run your plasma torch, especially if you're doing a lot of cutting out in the workshop, you know, some of these consumables can be really, really expensive. So before you make the choice and buy whatever plasma cutter you want to buy, you need to know a few basic things like what you're going to use it for and that sort of thing and what sort of quality torch and consumables that you need. Now, this is my thoughts on it, guys, and you also might want to, might want to change your torch out to something a little bit cheaper to run. Anyway, guys, if you like my video, subscribe as per usual. Drop me a like, drop me a comment, and uh, let's get into this, eh? This PT31 torch, guys, is just a generic torch out of China. Uh, there's no uh, branded version of this because it's just a generic torch, so there's nothing to compare it to. So they're the cheapest chips, basically. You can buy this torch on a little, like a, with about a 10 foot um, lead for about 29 bucks. Here, have a look. So, guys, you can get this from about 29 to 35 bucks anywhere. They're as cheap as chips. And these are ideal for cutting plate. Like this is 3 mil here, this plate. So, you can cut 3 mil plate all day with it. That's really good. Just like that, perfect. Like I say, you can cut with that all day, every day, you're cutting three mil, and this was this is good to cut like up to about half inch. Maybe just a half inch you'll just be stretching it. If you had to do half inch all day, every day, you couldn't do it. But if you go a little bit less than that, you're not gonna have any trouble whacking a bit off every now and then. So uh, yeah, that's why I like this, because this, this is really cheap to run. Because these consumables in this torch here are worth virtually nothing. Hey guys, check this out. There's 250 pieces in here, 39 bucks. Absolutely incredible. Same goes with the AG60, same sort of thing. You can put a standoff guide on this, and you can uh, run it as a standoff or a touch tip, whatever you like. Once again, the consumables are a little bit more expensive than these ones, but they're worth virtually nothing. And then we get on to the branded stuff. You know, like the if you like... Of buy a branded plasma cutter, like not a Chinese one, they have American made or some of them are made in um, Germany or whatever, and they have their own brands. What they do, guys, is they run their own plasma torches on it. And half the thing when they run their own plasma torches is you have to buy their consumables, basically. So, therefore, I think anyway, their consumable price is exorbitant for what you get, you know what I mean? It's just absolutely crazy. I'll put a couple of examples up top and you have a look. 19 piece branded consumable set, 170 bucks, wow. Like if you're running your Chinese machine and you're running a PT31 torch, you can replace your torch for about $29, 29, 35 bucks for a good replacement torch. And at that price, it doesn't matter if you run the thing over, you trip over it, you drop it, you break it, what difference does it make? But when you start to buy the branded stuff, then the same torch with a 10 foot lead on it can cost you like $495. This is a $495 torch, shit. Which is absolutely crazy. And if they're charging you $495 for the torch, what do you think they're gonna charge you for the consumables to run it? You understand where I'm coming from? So I'm not saying guys that this is the same quality as that one up there. Because I, it simply wouldn't be true. Because you can't tell me that something that is eight times as cheap is the same quality as, as something that is eight times as expensive. It just doesn't work like that. But what I'm saying is, you need to work out what you need to do with your machine and what sort of tool you need to make it work. Like what sort of torch and what sort of plasma cutter you need to make it work. Like to buy the plasma cutter that runs this, you're talking, you can buy one for about $250, $300 and it will run this sort of torch all day, every day. But to buy a plasma cutter that runs the expensive torches, they're probably starting at $1,500, $1,800. And the cut will be a lot better, and your consumables will last a lot longer. Once again, you're paying a lot more for your machine, and you are paying heaps more for your consumables. And even the generic consumables for the branded torches, sometimes the Chinese make generic consumables for branded torches, and they're still, but they're still a lot more expensive than their own generic brands, if you understand what I'm saying. So my personal opinion, guys, most home workshop guys don't want to cut any more than about half inch anyway, you know what I mean? So why not use the cheaper torch, the cheaper consumables, and the cheaper plasma cutter to do it? Unless you need a branded one, of course, when you're semi-commercial. See, once again, PT31 torch will whack through a bit of this um, half inch, eh?
See that, guys? I mean, it takes a little while, but it gets there in the end. If the uh, consumer is as cheap as chips, so what difference does it make if you use a few consumables while you're doing it? You know what I mean? Whereas the uh, other torches are quite expensive to run. But then again, you may get more life out of your consumables. You know, you've got to compare apples with apples. You've got to get the machine that you want to do whatever you want to do the job with, if you understand what I'm saying. There's no point buying a really expensive machine with a really expensive plasma torch if you're going to use it once a month. It's just absolutely crazy. Well, I think it is anyway. So get the machine and get the torch that suits your needs. Yee! So guys, what I've learned anyway is to just get the right machine for the right job that you want to do. If you want to buy a branded machine with a branded torch, go for your life. Just make sure you've got the use for it and make sure you're prepared to pay for the consumable prices. If you're just working in your workshop and you're mucking around or you might even be cutting like seven or eight hours a week, I'd go for the cheaper one if you're only cutting you know, thick, you know, up to up to half inch. I'd go for the cheaper one every time because the cheaper plasma consumables will make it a hell of a lot cheaper to run over the years. Anyway guys, that's my waffle for the day. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and see you next time. Peachtools.com.com.com